Sunday morning here in um, William Inglis, uh, catching up with Jake Stockton. Firstly, Jake, welcome back. Yep, good to be here. Uh, Nutrient Equine Standard Bread Sales, mate. This is the third one you've been a part of, and it's um, been a long month, hasn't it? Or five weeks, effectively. Yeah, it has been. Uh, 31 all up, so, yeah, no, it's been a been a big uh, preparation, but good to see it come to an end here this weekend. Yeah, you've got two days of sales. Today is a ripping day. We encourage people to get out here, and uh, Stacey Tower's walking past smirking, so uh, a lot of people starting to get about. We want people here. The industry needs people to be here, purchase some of these high-quality yearlings and, and be a part of um, harness racing. It's a, it's a lot of fun, isn't it? Oh, it is, and I think this sale, um, in my opinion, is probably the strongest one of the, the four, so, um, yeah, everyone should get here and have a look. A lot of people have said that about the depth in this sale. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, it is, um, you know, and diversity with the trotters and the paces, so, yeah, something here for everybody. All right, let's start with that. You've got, uh, well, you've still got nine, is that right, in your draft? You you had ten, you, you won down, but you've still got nine nine in it, but you have some trotters. You've got uh, for Michael Taylor and Trotters Australia? Yep, yep, we've got some um, trotters, and, you know, they're all d- different different breeds, a lot of the new, you know, frozen seamen stands, so, yeah, no, there's something here for everybody that wants a trotter. It's probably someone, something that people watching this interview may not... You know, think of is because, as I said, like you know, you're predominantly a pacing place. Come down to Wingate Farm. There's 88 trotters in the sale. You guys have quite a few. You got four, four of off me. Yeah, yes, yes, five, six, seven, eight. No, I might have six. Yeah, six, six trotters. Six trotters in there. Yourself, you've got paces, and the other part we want to do, and I encourage people to look at the barcode down the bottom for the important updates all the time. You scan your phone over it, and it will come up. Um, I'm not sure about last night at uh, Melton. I think they will, but the second last race, firstly, uh, went terrific. Uh, District Attorney showed his, his real form, didn't he, last night? Yeah, he's a very nice horse. Um, has been all along. Um, I think he'll he'll go on to be one of the you know top liners. I think um, going forward. Um, so we offer a filly half sister by American Ideal, you know, who's also a half sister Cruz Bromac and won a New Zealand Cup and over a million dollars. So them sort of fillies, you know, just hard to hard to get into them families. Um, so you yeah, know, she's one that uh, everyone should get and look at. Lot number uh, five sixty. 560. You got another, is it, it's an art major filly as well that you're very, very keen on. Um, I can't keep thinking of that. Zanola Starbuck? Zanola Starbuck, yeah, Miss Sinzan. So, yeah, she's also another filly that's a dual purpose filly, you know, um, you know, race and breed. And, um, she'll be one of them mares that's, you know, very commercial uh, later on as well. Um, her being a half to a 49 winner, um, Lord Zinzan. Um, Jack Farthing, you know, won 300, over 300. You got, um, you know, another one in 150. So, um, and from probably the best New Zealand family there is, you know, t- um, Tintin America's family and also all them horses, yeah. It's interesting, the um, the depth, if you like, in the um, the horses that has been sold here, the amount of stay-ins that, like you said, Dan Bell, Tintin in America, stay-ins that are represented in first and second generations and they're champion race horses who've gone on to the great stay-ins here in Australia. It's, it is so exciting, isn't it? Yeah, it is. You know, like, um, no, we've got there's some some really good families. I've, I've sort of went right through the catalogue, but there is some some of the best families in Australia and New Zealand represented here this weekend. Since in America, of course, he stands at Wingate, doesn't he? Yeah, give him a plug. But no, he's doing a great job. So you know, everyone loves the Tintin, and you know, they're just a high speed um, high speed horse to suit the race, and that's you know, especially New South Wales. Definitely. Barn B, second row in, 39 to 46 or 39 to 54. I'll tell people to go to, to come down here and have a look at the Wingate Farms. Like, what's uh, your first one to go through the hammer today, mate? Oh, I've got no idea, actually. <laughs> well done. <laughs> we'll get we'll get told off by the PR manager in a minute for that one. But, no, nah, look forward to it, mate. And um, we'll catch up very, uh, you know, sometime during the day. Hopefully that you've got the sale top. That would be a good result, wouldn't it? Oh, I'd be nice. But I um, also forgot with that, any New Zealand uh, people watching the... The um, Zanola Starbuck filly is also New Zealand size stakes that some people didn't know, but um, you know any Kiwis out there that are interested in one over in Australia, well she's one that she's New Zealand size stakes. Definitely, that's a very very important update and um, important to note for people. Uh, good luck. Thanks. Uh, third sale, you your old hat at it. You, you had Bathurst off. Did you? Did you? No, did, yeah, did you go to Vaffer so and have a look? No, no, no. We still had plenty of work at home to do, so we only just got back from Brisbane and, and um, yeah, getting these Melbourne ones, putting the final touches on them. Uh, well done, mate. Um, congratulations and uh, thanks for being a part of Nutrient all the way through and uh, good luck today and tomorrow. Hopefully we're catching up a bit later on. Yep, thanks, mate.